uh, Assistant Director Smith, in, um, in 2021, NBC reported that between 90 and $400 billion pandemic-related unemployment, U.S. taxpayers' dollars have been stolen, and half of that was taken by foreign criminals. Is this consistent with what your investigation revealed? Sir, I can't validate that that particular uh, news piece, which outlet did you say it was from? Uh, well, NBC News. It's been widely reported in other areas, but that was, they were the biggest dog that wagged its tail on that, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm not that, validating in, that. Okay, no. okay. Um, well, the former assistant director of investigation at the Secret Service, Jeremy Sheridan, called this, this theft, quote, the largest fraud scheme that I've ever encountered. And I guess what I'm getting at is, um, is that it seems to me it's clear that foreign and maybe some localized organized crime syndicates and other bad actors have perpetrated some crimes against the American taxpayers. Um, Assistant Director Smith, do you agree with Mr. Sheridan, or have you, have you ever encountered a larger fraud scheme? I agree with uh, former, former Assistant Director Sheridan's sentiments. Um, the magnitude uh, was made, <clears throat> the magnitude of pandemic-related fraud was what made it unique. Do you think that in your professional capacity or otherwise that maybe some of these funds could be linked to terrorism organizations that would fund, that these things would fund them? Sir, sure, I don't have any direct evidence um, linking terrorist organizations to pandemic uh, relief uh, funds, uh, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is uh, not beyond the realm of possibility that, you know, right. transnational criminal organizing and, groups of various sorts. And, and drugs and human trafficking, all those dirt bags that kind of run together, I guess. It, yes, sir. The group I mentioned earlier, uh, yeah. Black Axe out of Nigeria, they, they uh, involved themselves in human trafficking, drug trafficking, uh, the, the full gamut. So they okay. were also involved in pandemic-related. All right. Fraud. And thank you.